Hey, yeah, welcome back. Look at this. It's beautiful out here. It's absolutely rank over there on the land. I'm at Hawksley today. It's a place I don't fish that often because the conditions have to be almost perfect to get in and out on the beach. And in fact, I nearly missed the tide this morning because it was nearly low water when I got here. And uh, if it had been a little bit of a bigger tide, I would have struggled to get out between the rocks. But as it is, we're out. And uh, those of you who are regular viewers of the channel will remember that this time last year, or maybe even a little bit earlier, I got a beautiful 13, maybe 14, but it's getting bigger, 13, 14 pound pollock over there off the fingers of rock that stick out from Hawksley Point. Uh, I got it on a rhubarb and custard, so of course, that's what I'm going to start with today, the old rhubarb and custard tribute minnow. I've got that on about four foot of 20 pound fluorocarbon that's attached via a barrel swivel to 15 pound Daiwa Jaybraid Grandy. It's the eight strand stuff. I've got it on a 2000 size Mitchell MX2 reel. And uh, this is the old Yagi spin rod, which is 12 to 42 grams. And uh, yeah, this, this bends quite a bit when it's got a pollock on. So hopefully when we get over that rock, We'll get the old Pollock curse lifted this year, because as I said in the last couple of videos, it's been a tough old year for the Pollock. I've had a few, but I haven't had anything over five pound yet. Maybe about five pound-ish on the West Coast, but on this coast, nothing over five pound. And normally, I would have had a good few fish touching double figures by now. Anyway, enough moaning. I'm going to head over there to that finger of rock and see if we can do it today. I'll see you in a little bit. Right, so here we go. First drop, eh? So I'm right in amongst all the mucky stuff here. I'm going to drift over that bit of ground. Um, I'm about 400 yards south of it. And I'm going to uh, stick a bit of the stink on, get down there and hopefully pick up a pollock. Just talking to a guy on the boat there and he said there's been quite a few rats around here recently. So that would be nice as well, wouldn't it? So I'm in 15 metres of water. Uh, the bottom's pretty rough here. I've got about 400 yards to go till I hit that rock. I can see it's all marked out by pot boys over there. So we'll get down there and we'll have a go, eh? Oh, I think I'm in. I am. <laughs> get in. First fish of the day. Let's see what we've got. What am I in? 19 metres of water. I'm going to take me time just in case it is a ras, you know. What have we got? So it was quite a long way away from the kayak there when it struck because the tide's running quite strong. So I was letting the lure go with the tide. It's a codlin. Not a bad one to start the day with, is it? That'll do. Well, there you are. That's the blank off. We'll uh, get him unhooked. We'll get him back. There you go, buddy. Oh, he's left me a message. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. What a great start of the day. Absolutely covered already. Right. Oh, it stinks as well. Oh, I'm in. Something came up for it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, have I lost it? No, it's still on, whatever it is. It's not that big. <laughs> what on earth have I got? A sand deal or something? Have a look and see what it is. It's a tiny codlin. What are you thinking, eh? This is not for you, man. Just for big lads. Right, and he's done a right job of that Noel, hasn't he? What a nana. That way. It's one. Two. See you, pal. Right, let's get out there and get the proper fish. Oh, missed it. First blooming hit I've had for ages. Oh, I got it back. Got it the second time. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's right on the edge of the drop off here in 22 metres of water. Let's get it up. It's good to catch a fish anyway. Eh? This is only number three. We've been here for about 40 minutes, so it's quite slow today. There we go. Another codlin. 
again just a little lad but you know life at least <laughs> right so I'm gonna head out and have a little look at that see what's underneath what's around that uh, flag there the the pot marker because they're normally on top of something I mean it's quite a long way off the beach it must be a mile out now we're gonna have a look might not be much probably won't be Am I a bit negative today? Maybe. <laughs> it was a tricky start this morning. It took us ages to get everything set up and uh, the fishing hasn't exactly, well, it hasn't been on fire, has it, out here? So morale is, uh, is, is questionable right at the moment, but we'll get there. We'll keep smiling. Oh, I'm in. Get in. Fish at last. <laughs> I think it's going to be the same again, a little codlin, but uh, it seems to be the same spot where I'm hitting them, so at least there's some kind of consistency. There you go. I'm not complaining, you know, if this was March or April, I'd be over the moon, but uh, it is the 1st of July today, so, you know, fishing should be a bit better than this, but never mind. Oh, I'm in. Get in. <laughs> this is a little bit scatty. I wonder what this is. It's having a little tug. I think it's going to be a slightly better codlin. And I say slightly. But we'll have a look. I mean, you can see he's putting a bit of a bend in, isn't he? But that's not hard with this rod. Come on, what have we got? What have we got? I can't even see it. Where is it? It's coming from quite deep down. There we'll go. There we'll go. That's all right, isn't it? He's not bad. They get, they're getting a bit bigger. Right, buddy, we'll not mess around with you. We'll just, uh, we'll show you off and then we'll put you back. There he is. He's a bit angry like. We'll pop him back though. There he is. Happy as Larry. It's warming up a little bit now that breeze has dropped off. I was getting a bit chilly before. Oh, I'm in. Get in. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, this is a bit scatty. It's given some uh, thumpy head shakes, this fella. Let's see what it is. Feels a bit odd, but then again, we'll have this conversation every time I pull a fish in, don't we? <laughs> Let's get it up and have a look at it. That's the only way to tell for sure. Let's have a look. Still can't see any colour. It's a Pollock. <laughs> oh, I'm livid. It's all right. It's all right. It's fine. Oh, I'm in. Get it. Oh, bloody. Oh, get in. I thought something weird was going on there. I wasn't quite sure what it was. But, uh, we're in. What is it? Feels canny. Let's get it up and have a look. Putting a bit of a bend in, and there's no tide running, so I hope it's a pollock. It'd be lovely if it was. Well, it's not. It's a decent codlin, that. That'll do. Well, you know, half decent anyway. He's uh, quite fancied that, didn't he? There you go. weird because I can hear the rain hitting the water about 200 yards away it just hasn't quite got here yet but it's imminent oh it's lashing down in it you know what I'm going to do I might get the hood out of me for me dry suit and put that on instead so I've got a glow-in-the-dark fish black minnow on I've covered it in the vanilla stinky stuff 
Um, I've set myself up for quite a long, easy drift here because I don't really want to be messing around too much in this rain. I just want to get get down there and see, see if we can catch some fish because uh, I don't know how long I'm going to stay out, to be honest with you, because if you could see over there what I can see, it's not exactly looking promising. And I swear I heard a big clap of thunder before. Oh, I'm in. What have I got? Something. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think it's very big, but it's welcome in this horrible rainy weather. What is it? It's the first fish on the metals today. And it's another codlin. There we go. Little chap. We'll pop them straight back. Oh, I'm in. I don't know what this is. It's feeling a bit angry, whatever it is. What have we got? What have we got? It's quite deep, like. It's quite deep here, so it'll take us a while to get it up. Codlin. There we go. There we go. See you, pal. Whoop, he's away. Well, I was just heading somewhere else there, and then all the ground underneath has appeared to be awesome all of a sudden, just as I started to motor off. So we'll get down, we'll give it a little look. I was heading much further south, but... Uh, We'll just have a quick go over this ground, see if there's anything here to catch our attention. I am bored and cold, like, I'll be honest with you. It's not always grip and fun out here, you know. Oh, am I in? Oh, an actual fish, get in! <laughs> and this one feels half decent as well. Oh, he's taking a little bit of line off is there i've got me drag quite tight it should be a little bit looser than that by the feels of it i'm determined to get this up and have a look at it oh come on take the line off me drags too blooming tight isn't it yeah we'll go let's get this up and have a look at it eh i'm aware that you're not at the best angle because i was just sort of Trying to kill a little bit of time, but uh, hopefully you'll get to see it anyway. Oh, this is nice, this. I like the feel of this. Just take me time with it. Oh, get in. Get in. Right. Let's get this up for you to have a look at, because this, my friends, is a double figure cod and we'll just make 100 percent sure that we've got it ho, ho, ho. look at that well let me have a look let me have a, an assess of that i'm going to say that's about seven or eight pound not a double figure fish but look at that eh what an absolute bonus i wasn't expecting this one to be honest with you I was getting a little bit fed up, but uh, I'm really, really happy to see this. Get in! What an absolute beaut, eh? I tell you what, we'll pop him back down there. We'll let him get away, shall we? <laughs> Whoop. And he's off. Get in! Oh, well, I'm pleased with that. An odd angle for you to see it at, but uh, I'm very happy that we got it. <laughs> Get up. Oh, I'm in again. What have we got here? Not quite as big as the last one. But it's another fish, which is cool, because I was uh, starting to feel a little bit hopeless when we were drifting without anything before. Another codlin. Get him away. There he is. 
See you, pal. Right, that's it. I'm going to head in. It's been a, uh, it's been a tricky day. I'm not going to lie to you. The, uh, the wind and the rain have conspired to make it really hard work. It's. It's been really difficult to spend any time over the fish holding ground because the drift's been awful. It's been straight out to sea or straight into land and the wind's been changing direction every five minutes. But I've enjoyed myself, believe it or not, and we did get that nice cod which made it all worth it. Uh, listen, do me a favour, would you, and subscribe to the channel. I know I bang on about it, but it does make a big difference to that old YouTube algorithm, you know, how many new people YouTube suggests me videos to. Another thing that really helps is a thumbs up. So if you've liked the video, please go and do that. And uh, if you want to ask us a question, suggest a venue, maybe I'll just say hello. Do that in the comments down below because I always reply. And don't forget, you've still got your 10% off at Galaxy Kayaks UK. That's OTD10 for 10% off everything. I'll catch you next time.